Hey everyone, it's Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. I want to give a huge thanks to Noel Young who's one of our Patreon sponsors. And uh, if Pray Every Day has helped you, if it's blessed you, if it's um, been something that's helped you pray deeper and better, consider becoming one of our sponsors at patreon.com forward slash pray every day. I would be eternally grateful for your help and uh, it helps pay for engineering and cool stuff like that. So thank you in advance. Um, I'm, a, I'm about a third of the way to being able to pay for this monthly, so thank you for all of you who have been a Patreon sponsor. Today we're reading from the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 6, verse 24 in the NASB, the New American Standard Bible. It says this, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, I live in a country that worships wealth, and I repent on behalf of my country. Um, we have served wealth. We have served money. We have served mammon. We have seen it as the great validator of our lives. We have seen it as the way that we can live without needing you. Forgive us for when money has been the answer to our prayers in the sense of we don't run to you, we run to money. Um, I'm reminded again of just friends in second and third world countries who don't have the luxury of even calling up a doctor when they're sick because that is an economic decision and I don't even think twice about it. And my friends in those second and third world countries who have a relationship with you, Jesus, their first response is to pray. And my first response is to call. Um, Lord, forgive us for seeing that money is our God. And I don't mean that in like a money hungry or money grubbing kind of sense. It means that um, oftentimes money can solve our problems. Instead of going to you, we go to money. Instead of um, praying for your solution to a problem, we throw money at it. Um, or we think that you don't love us if we don't have the amount of money that we want and we become dissatisfied instead of content. Lord, teach us the value of contentment today. Teach us what it means to, to sit back, to count our blessings, to realize that we do have so much. And in the midst of that, satisfaction and that joy and that contentment. Lord, I pray that you would unclench our fists from the quarters and the dollars and the, the euros and um, the Swiss francs and whatever it is that we're grasping on, that you would loosen our grip so that we could um, just let go of that money. Um, I'm reminded of the last scene of Sense and Sensibility and you see this marriage of this older man to this younger woman and he is wealthy but wealth didn't buy him what he really wanted and um, he was a generous man and uh, the, the girl had been in love with someone that really loved money more than he loved her and he walked away from her and she ended up marrying this sweet man who had money but didn't that wasn't his focus. And the last scene of that is he's just throwing gold coins up in the air after the marriage, just like saying, it doesn't matter. Everybody else have the wealth, I don't care. Love is what matters most. And Lord, help us to remember that love is what matters most. We are here not to serve money or to be um, tied up with concerns of money, but we are here to love you and to love others. Forgive us when money has come in the way of us loving you, or money has come in the way of us loving others. Lord, we want to serve you alone, not our paycheck, not our um, wallet, not our possessions. We want to serve you alone. And Lord, I know that I don't even understand all that. Um, and it's interesting because when I lived in France, I didn't battle this battle so much. Um, in fact, there weren't any advertisements on French TV. I wasn't ever tempted really to buy a bunch of stuff because it wasn't the kind of culture it was. But the moment I came back to the United States, oh, it just reared its ugly head. 
And that's because that's what we worship. You want to talk about what we worship. We worship not the Almighty God, but we worship the Almighty Dollar. And so, Lord, forgive us. We repent right now. I repent. I can't repent on behalf of everybody else necessarily, although there are prayers in the Bible that talk about that. But I just choose to repent on my own behalf, where I have run to money before I have run to you. Forgive me. And help me to be like uh, Colonel Brandon in that last scene of Sense and Sensibility. Help me to open my hand and to throw the gold in the air for the sake of others, to build your kingdom, not for me, not to build my empire, but to build yours. We pray all of this, and I pray all of this in your amazing name. I worship you. I serve you as my master. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. And I do, for those of you who are lacking today, I pray for provision for you. And those of you who have abundance today, I pray you would open your hands and begin just let go of it. Let, let it, um, let go of the hold that it has in your life. Be set free today, everybody. That's my prayer. Have an amazing day.